Hey, hey folks, we're back. I hope you've all been having fun. I certainly have. It's good to be back. And I've, uh, I've got a special friend recording with me today. It's actually just the cat, you know. She's, uh, she's just sat right in front of the microphone, so if you can hear her purring, I do apologise. I shouldn't be because it's a nice soothing sound. And I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Um, so, for today's episode, we are backtracking, believe it or not. Oh, I think... Can I get up there? How do I get up? Is it this way? Yeah, it is this way. So, we're backtracking because at the end of our last short episode, we learned to climb. Now, this is very important because if you do recall, we've seen a lot of places that we need to be able to climb to go to, especially in like in these first levels in Summer Forest. <coughs> so that's what we're covering. No cutscene to start a glimmer. No, I've already spoke to you. We've got to concentrate on killing these guys today, because we've got to activate the power up. Where'd the other one go? There you are. I can't actually remember how many bad guys I need, but I don't think it's that many. It's like 11 or something. What was that? Already six? I think it was already six. Let's keep going. Wow, that was just terrible aim. As was that. Wow, what's wrong with me? Um, okay. There's a couple guys down here. I think I'm one shot. I may have to just, uh, Cross the bridge and kill another guy. Oh no, it's active. Right, okay. No problem. Head on up the ladder. Whereas we previously couldn't. There you go, climbing in action. Wow. So intense. Hey, great! You've got the super fly power up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. We certainly can light the gem lamps in this cave. I know I tried to cheese it last time, but obviously you can't cheese it. I'm I've seen uh I've seen speedrunners cheese it. Previously, no, I, I couldn't quite do that myself. I'm definitely incapable of such ability, in, even in, like in the original game, I mean specifically. But, um, I don't know if doing it in remastered is a thing. I don't know, it's probably something I could I could look up actually. Thanks for helping me if you know, Spyro. feel free to let I me know. I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here. Somebody mix this orbit with the baseballs. Why would they have to cancel a baseball game if you can't light the lamps? Especially inside a cave. That makes no sense. Uh, anyway, I got a collectible, so it's fine. 18 orbs. All orbs collected. How many gems am I missing? I'm missing one gem here. Where is that? Didn't realise I was missing that many. Well, I've not even collected a lot. I only collected the ones up that ladder, really, didn't I? So, what's this way? Yeah, 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 okay, thanks, you're welcome. Go on, let me go, I've already got this. this magic portal yeah, 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 I've already collected this talisman. Where is my gem? Sparks, you're really not helping. My dude, where is that supposed to be? Sparks, help me out a little bit here. Is it round? No, it's in... Inside the cave? Maybe? I don't actually know. Oh, surely it must be. Where else could it be? No, I'm... Where are you pointing me, Sparks? Did I miss it up here? If I did, this is dreadful. Oh, goodness. I'm really not enjoying that this is a thing. Alright, I'm really not enjoying that this is... Most of the iconic moments of my Let's Play. Miss a gem, miss a gem, miss a gem.
I don't think I've ever seen that cutscene before. Because I'm pretty sure you don't see it the first time you go to Glimmer. That's something new. Because usually I've just, like, hit the start button and gone exit level. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't show you that cutscene if you do that. Because you've not completed the level and exited through the portal. But it does definitely doesn't show you that the first time round. That is a tad bizarre. There's something else for me to research. Anyway. So we've got... Sunny Beach. Some stuff to do in Sunny Beach. And there's also a couple gems. And an orb we missed in Summer Forest itself. But we'll get those. I know where they are. It just requires a little bit of a travel, shall we say. Really, it's not that far. Because as we know, the bulk of the level is actually up here. And... We have a ladder here. Hey, Laura, guess what? Something I can climb. Shiny at the top of this wall. Something shiny? What could it possibly be? Could it be gems? What else in this world is incredibly shiny? Oh, don't you love that we can now climb? It's an ability that Spyro was definitely missing. Plenty of one gems. Oh, look. An orb. There we go. All orbs. All gems. No. Oh, because I'm missing one again. Oh, do you know what? I, I just, This hurts my head. Where in... Lord Almighty's name could this be? Hang on. Is it going to be out here? Well, let's find out. Show me the way, Sparks. There? No, stop eating butterflies. Where are you sending me? I'm I'm a bit per perplexed that I've missed a gem out here. There, really. Of all places. Plenty of backtracking. Maybe I should have checked for gems when I first come out of the glimmer portal. But, no. So, obviously, I just don't think about these sorts of things. We're going to Sony Beach. Because, oh, oh no, I've just remembered what we've got to do. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Please, please, I don't want to do this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. Cat, save me. If I pass the con if I pass the controller to the cat, the cat might help me. Here. No, don't look at me like that. Okay, just lie down and be lazy again then. I've skipped this. I know we we've seen it. Um. So anyway, we have to uh, rescue the baby turtles again. Basically. Oh, hang on. There's gems up there. Oh. Did I just completely miss that last time? I did. I do not remember this in the slightest. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I definitely don't remember doing this. Oh. I, I didn't even do this on, like... My other save file where I've played the game solo off recording. How how did I miss that? Really? Well, I learn something new every day. And let's get my health back. Come on, Sparks, heat up. Um, right. That's that's good to know. So I'm only missing 20 gems, and I do believe I think I know where they are. And the cat is rolling around. I have no idea why. It's practically upside down now. Alright, get on there. I need to climb. See, it's, it's kind of cool that they included different sorts of mechanics. I know it's nothing extreme, but... Well... It's a tad interesting that they added like the <clears throat> the fact that you have to backtrack 
for a full completion. Gives the game a bit more runtime, a bit more. Oh, I hate these guys. A bit more gameplay, shall we say, because, you know, you've got more stuff to do. You can't just plow through the game and get it finished as quick as you can, like I did with the first one. I'm not complaining, I promise, I'm not complaining, I just... Well, it might sound like I'm complaining, probably because I am a little bit. Hey, do you know what? After what we've got to do now, I should be allowed to complain. Because, <clears throat> like, you know this, uh... Where, where are you pointing me? For gems. It is up there, I believe. The the difficulty rating. Hello, young one. <clears throat> There's a chef up at the top of this ladder. The difficulty rating for the mini games. This is the one where like the difficulty rating is truly representative of the actual difficulty. I mean, God Almighty, I really don't want to do this. There we go. That's all my gems. Well, he's got two orbs. The first one's easy. Yo, turtle friends will make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. No, oh, fairly hungry. Look at the size of you. Then again, that's, it's that chef hat that's weird, not the fact that he's fat. So, keep the turtles away from the cauldron. It's not just keep them away, you have to like actually force them into the water over here. Now you might think that that's not incredibly difficult. But, um, take my word, it really is difficult. Especially seeing as, like, you know, if you flame them, and they just sort of have this... This impulse to walk towards the cauldron. I don't know, maybe it's got turtle pheromones in it or something, but... They, they don't like the water, they like the cauldron. You know, the steaming ca cauldron full of soup so stuff. you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. I like how they kind of make this guy a bit villainy, but he still gives you free stuff. Yeah, take this orb, go away so I can make my turtle soup. But if you don't make me if you don't let me make my turtle soup, I'll give you another orb. If you step any closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again. Five star difficulty, because it really, really is. I've really struggled to do this one. Like a hell of a lot. You've really, really got to be quick and be careful. See look, he didn't even go in properly. Get in the water, turtle. Thought, see, I think I don't. I figured I'd already failed then. No, see, I've sent this guy the wrong way. This is it. It's the start of it. This is it. It's horrible. This is this is how it happens. This is this is. You just got to do your absolute best to keep them all away. But at the same time, you've got to save them, because otherwise... Save up, and then there's more of them arrive. Oh, there's five of them now. Oh, come on, if I could do this first time, I'll be amazed with myself. I'm not going to do it, because they're all getting a bit too close now. Even this guy. I want you to go into the water, please. Oh god, this is absolutely chaotic. Ah, one of them got in. <sighs> oh, this is stressful. It's a stressful, stressful mission. You probably go and watch somebody else's video, right? And... Why won't he go in there? Can he just not get in that close? I don't know. Oh, no you don't. Why? Why would you not go into the water? I need you to go away from the soup. Stupid turtles. But then we're going to have more of them come in and it's just going to get nightmarish. I'm not going to be able to do this. 
I'm really not. I'm like under a lot of pressure to keep talking and I'm trying to concentrate on the goddamn turtles and they're jumping in the soup. I'm gonna have an attempt at this at not talking and just concentrating and see if that helps. Nope, not at all. Can't focus on one turtle for too long, because if you do, you forget that the other ones are, the other ones come through pretty quick. And sitting and flaming one multiple times like so. Yeah, it kind of works. But then it's the same thing, you get distracted and forget that there's more of them coming. Oh my god, I've just discovered something. Oh my god, I had no idea you could do that. Whoa! I thought you could only flame them. So, wait. Oh my goodness. Like, can you do that in Spiral 1? Uh, Spiral in the original game? confused I had not this this makes it infinitely easier oh my god the realization is real five star difficulty no not a chance okay I've lost my faith in the difficulty rating of this game because <laughs> that has just made this so much easier look at that though my god Chasing these goddamn turtles around for ages. Just trying to get them to go into the goddamn water. And after all, it was so easy. I thought you could only flame them because you can only flame the big ones. And I mean, alright, it's just an assumption, but I never thought to even try it. Wow! Rats, you saved every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes. But now I don't need it. Thank you very much. Silly bird chef man. You've helped me realise my dream. <laughs> realise my dream of becoming a true turtle saviour. Right. Now let's uh, get out of here. Oh, I could do it the old fashioned way. Completed everything. <coughs> now you would have thought the old fashioned way was actually using the portal. Oh well. That made for an entertaining waste of 10 minutes. Well, I mean, I suppose that depends how you uh, determine the words entertaining. Because I mean, it, it really wasn't, wasn't for me at least anyway, that was damn stressful. Until you then realize, you know, of the hidden technique to make it damn sight easier that you never knew about. Right, let's get the orb in here. Damn, this is... This is turning into a long recording. I had a feeling this might be a long recording, but it's longer than I thought it was going to be. Probably doesn't help the 10 minutes or so I wasted in Sunny Beach trying to complete an objective that I thought was impossible. And it was impossible the way I was doing it. I don't think you could possibly do it like that. You have to charge at them, obviously. Well, you learn something new every day. I'm pretty sure I've already said that once in this recording, actually. Stop repeating myself. Come on, you can do this. Just gotta get perfect alignment. 
God damn these boats. Got it. Right, okay, come on, you can do this. You've got plenty of time. You've got 20 seconds. Just don't mess up this. This is, like, not very difficult part of it, but... Two more. One more. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes! One minute, 3.3. .3. Post your best times. You can beat my time, I'll... Give you something. I don't know. But no. Oh yes, we do have to retry, of course. I almost forgot about the orb. I was that excited to get the skill point. Come on. Where is she? I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. Alright, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware, if Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink. Say, I didn't really think this one was too difficult. You just gotta keep up with him. You kind of have to stay behind him anyway to see what path he takes. Because you go for it. Obviously, she said if you go for a different ring first and he goes through a ring and it starts to shrink, then you're gonna miss it. So. Nobody likes Hunter anyway. Well, I never used to like him. He's not so much of a bad guy, I suppose. He thinks he's a lot more rad than he actually is. I'll say that much. Alright, surely you're going for that one now, yeah? Whoa. I didn't think I could make that turn. Apparently he could. What's he wearing? Is it like some sort of glide suit? It looks like a thing strapped to his back. At first I thought it was some sort of bird carrying him, but... The rings don't really shrink very quick. You've got plenty of time to make it through them. I suppose it only is if they're like miles behind him. See, I, I can't even really noticeably see them shrinking. Come here. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Thank you very much. Give me the orb. Finally. We're done. Right. No, no, no. We're done. I don't I don't want to restart this. Let's get out of here. No, and the cat seems to have woken up now. Is that it? Now I've finished my recording, you've woken up. Because is it is it food? Yeah, I bet it's food. Silly animal. You know I love you, but you just want food. You don't care about me, do you? Yeah, okay. Just don't even look at me when I'm talking to you. Anyway. Enough of the shenanigans. So, as we can now see... Nice 100%, that's what I like to see. Really well. I'm proud of myself that I've actually managed to 100% all of this. Um, anyway. I suppose I'm going to start signing off. I need to get to the portal. To go back to Autumn Plains. Because in the next episode we're going to start... Uh, I'm not going to say specifically just yet. Because I'm still not sure how I want to play this out. I've mentioned before... That I want to uh, finish the home world kind of first. But I don't know. I'll, I'll decide like the next time I pick the game up. But thanks for joining me again guys. And uh, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.